Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger Recently, Six Flags Face of Texas announced this brand new, record-breaking B&M dive coaster to come to the park in 2022. It'll be home to the record of being the world's steepest B&M dive coaster as that drop will be 95 degrees, actually pretty cool especially for a B&M. But to be honest, what is so intriguing about this new coaster? I get there is the great theme in the storyline, but for the layout, I really don't see anything special. Sure, you do have the 95 degree drop which will probably be the best part of the ride. Also, that Zero G World which will also be pretty good but other than that you just have anything boring you would find on any other bnm dive especially towards the end of the layout as you can see you really meander around into a slow glide into the brakes just another reason why this coaster looks to me overhyped so that leads us to the question is dr diefall's cliffhanger really that good is that as what i'll be discussing in today's video but most importantly before we start if you're new to the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos on coasters often as it really helps the channel out tremendously also if you want to see more make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all of the coaster thrill social media accounts including instagram for updates and much more but let's jump in to start off I really have so much things to discuss. I mean, really, from anything about this, there is the theming. This theming looks absolutely incredible, especially for Six Flags. Six Flags has really stepped up their game recently with their theming, especially in this park. They have been doing some great teasing, and I think this thing is really hyped pretty well. This coaster did get lots of teasing and speculation. Six Flags Fiesta Texas, especially Jeffrey Seabird, really did a great job on hyping this thing up to be a great thing that attracts in so many new crowds but due to all of this hyped up speculation i definitely don't think this coast will be as good as some people may say i get it it has a lot of good parts to it but really the layout is nothing special. This ride will probably be on the same level as Valraven, another B&M dive coaster with those vest restraints, and the layout is a little similar. Of course, you have that drop, mid-course brake run, Emil Men, and you have that Zero G roll, which is pretty nice, but I definitely won't think it'll be super good. Valraven, in my opinion, is definitely not the best coaster out there. There are some parts of it could, that could definitely be improved on. Since this coaster is only about 150 feet tall you definitely could more compare it to some of the smaller bnm dive coasters think like oblivion that was the first one but also like baron those things are pretty good even though they're the smaller ones six flags really did have more of a smaller budget for this thing because it is their first bnm in 10 years like i said it really they didn't want to really want to go all out especially since they may even clone this thing cloning this thing i think would probably be a good business decision by Six Flags, but for us coaster enthusiasts, I don't think it would be the best. I mean, in my opinion, it probably would be the best if it just stays at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. One of the main complaints with this thing is just why is it called Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger while you have a cliff right at the park but it doesn't go off the cliff. That really doesn't make that much sense unless they are doing this one thing that, that could be cloning it. Really the two reasons that they wouldn't put it off the cliff is number one, it's just really expensive especially to uh, do work up there. I think it would be way more out of Six Flags budget and especially since number two they might clone this thing so you definitely can't clone a coaster that goes off a quarry wall some people may say it's a missed opportunity but in my opinion i think it's just fine the location of this thing is right next to roadrunner express iron rattler and daredevil dive so that section of the park really probably needed another big coaster and i think this coaster really does add to that this ride will definitely be a gp magnet it will attract so many people especially with that location it's pretty much near the entrance so i 
think it's a pretty good option for them to do this again it'll track it in a lot of crowds but really at least for me the main thing with this coaster that i am super impressed with is the theming the theming of this coaster looks to be absolutely fantastic it's a very steampunk theme along with daredevil dive that was added pretty recently i mean it will also have some decent queue areas it'll have a themed queue house just like the joker at least from the animation it does look to have a queue house which i obviously think will be super cool the joker their flat ride and the other side of the park has it and i went through it and it's also definitely pretty cool it would be really nice if this could interact with the guests and have just exemplified that theme that they're going with as you can tell, a lot of these bigger chains such as Six Flags, Cedar Fair have really gone up a notch with their theming. I mean, there has been Orion, you could even say Copperhead Strike, and of course, this new coaster coming to a Six Flags park. Though it may not be Disney theming, this park I think is doing a great job, especially for being an amusement park. At the theme, it definitely also has a good storyline. The storyline was definitely intertwined with all the hype it got. I'm definitely not gonna go too into depth on the theming, but it's basically an evil doctor about to fulfill her evil plan to frighten the world, which it'll take up all humans, I guess, and the machine that they'll be using is called Dr. Bio Diabolical's Cliffhanger, which obviously is the name of the coaster. Speaking of the name, I get that some people obviously will not be too hyped about the coaster not diving over the cliff with especially the name Cliffhanger, but I definitely do like it. It's a pretty cool name especially with the theme that goes behind it. I love the character of Dr. Diabolico. I think she will play a great role in the queue and all the theming of this coaster. I definitely think it will just be super cool overall. It will be a very steampunk theme, especially with the other ride down there being a Daredevil Dive, which I think both of them will play a pretty good uh, role in doing some good theming. I mean, Daredevil Dive, from what I've seen, looks absolutely fantastic. A great flat ride, and I think this coaster will will play with it pretty nice. This coaster overall just from the pathway will look absolutely fantastic. The color scheme also looks really good, especially with that track, that great B&M track. This coaster definitely will just be just menacing to look at, especially from a first timer GP. Really, in my opinion, the theming will be the best part of the ride, as, as I said earlier, the layout won't be anything special, but that's the thing. This coaster will definitely be more about the overall experience than that crazy layout that some people might have expected. Obviously, there were some other options that they could have gone with, such as an SNS Axis or Zampero Double Heart, which, for the Double Heart, I'm not sure if it would be better, but the Axis, I definitely think it would be better, but still, I think this coaster will will be decent. Will it be the best coaster in the park? Definitely not. I mean, it'll be a pretty good supporting coaster, probably 5th or 6th best coaster in the park. The coasters that would beat it are, of course, Iron Rattler, Wonder Woman, Superman, even Goliath or Poltergeist, which Poltergeist, I definitely think, is going to be even better. I'm not gonna go too in-depth, but Poltergeist is, of course, getting that whole new retheme. Poltergeist, I already thought was a pretty good ride, but now with a whole new retheme and new paint job i think it'll be super cool you just gotta give props to jeffrey siebert which is just basically directing all of this he really is doing a fantastic job especially of course with poltergeist daredevil dive and of course dr diabolical's cliffhanger going into this ride with the expectations of it being a really good ride will not do you any favors this coaster will definitely not be a standout attraction i think it'll be a supporting coaster like i said but definitely nothing special this is definitely more for the overall experience especially the theming I feel like you will come off this ride being not so wowed by the layout but the theming and this overall experience will make this thing kind of special and all of this leads to of course the main question of this video is dr diabolical's cliffhanger really that good but that's gonna end out today's coaster discussion what do you think of this edition is it overhyped or not definitely make sure to post that in the comments below i read every comment absolutely love what you guys have to say and of course if you're not already make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos on coasters often and see ya